Okay, so you'll hear a lot about series and parallel. How series and parallel works is series is when you connect the negative to the positive. What you're actually doing is you're increasing the volts. So from here we go 1.2 volts to 2.4, 3.6, and so on and so on until we get up to 12 volts. So by 10 of these in series at 1.2 volt cells, we're going to end up with a 12 volt battery bank. If we wanted to, you know, we've got 12 volts here and 12 volts here. If we wanted to make this a 24 volt battery bank, we would just continue the series and continue going around. If we're going to keep a 12 volt battery bank, we've got two batteries here, 10 cells done. What we'd be required to do is actually spin this bank around and connect the negative and the negative together and the positive and the positive. Then we'd end up with, rather than a 24 volt 100 amp hour system, we'd end up with a 12 volt 200 amp hour system. So parallel doubles the amps, voltages. When you're serious, you double the voltages. And it's the same on solar panels. If you hook all your panels in series, you're going to increase your volts. If you hook them in parallel, you're going to increase your amps. So it's really important to understand volts and amps when doing your circuit protection of breakers and all your cabling. Um, to understand that flow and what's going to flow through it. So um, the less amps, more likely the less heat. That's why the higher voltages um, are better in systems. Um, and you can get around with big cables and things like that. So, so we run our house here on a 12 volt system through an inverter. And that's how we've got, we've actually got 10, 1100 amp hours. So our batteries um, are pretty much, all this is one, what, one cell for us. We've got 10 of those. Um, so they're quite large. Um, which is doable. So that's how batteries in series work. Remember, so amps times volts equals watts. So this here would be two kilowatt hours of usable storage within your batteries.